Hello, let's have a look on why Kenyan economy is going uh, down each and every day since President Ruto took over. We know that Kenya is one of the most richest countries in Africa and the GDP was going up and uh, in the next 10 years Kenya would be classified as the richest country in the world. Remember after the colonialism, after they got independence, Kenya uh, the Kenyan president that is the late Kenyatta, he took over and his main goal was to make sure that the Kenyan economy is going at a very good rate, it's going up and his goal was to make that Kenya is the, it will be almost the same as the Singapore but things changed. What Kenyatta did, he allowed agriculture to take place, minerals and you know mining, tourism and those are some of the things that brought a good amount of money to Kenyans. But later, after, after Kenyatta died, the second president that is Moi took over the country. But Moi was very selfish and he tried to, de- to do more of gold, uh, gold uh, how do you call them, gold smuggling. And that is one of the main causes that made Kenya to go down. The Kenyan economy is so down, very, very bad. And you see, like, it went to negative. Yet the Singapore economy is just going high because that was their target. That was the country that they were. You know, they were the same range. Moi stayed in the government for 24 hours, for 24 years, and this made people to be very, very mad on him. And people tried to overthrow him, that's including Moi Kibaki, you have the Relo Odinga, you have the Matiba, and uh, good thing is that Kibai took over the, uh, the government back in 2002. And what he did in the 10 years is to try and rebuild the economy that was destroyed by Moi. That uh, one of the main things he did is that he improved on education, he made education to be free, he did more, he improved more on tourism, he improved more on you know mining, he improved more on agriculture. We are used to offer even fertilizers to make sure that Kenyan farming farmers are in a very good state. After 10 years, Kibaki took the country GDP very high, like n- people never expected that. But you remember, you remember that Moi Kibaki did economics back in school, so people knew that Kibaki he is an economist and he really practiced it. Later, after Kibaki, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta joined the country, he became the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, and his main aim was to complete what Mwai Kibaki never did. You know that Uhuru Kenyatta was among those people who planned Revolution 2030. Together with the late George Saitoti and other prominent leaders, I don't know why Kenya, they tend to kill the most prominent leaders. You know, those leaders, they're there to build their country, but they end up being killed by their own friends. Uhuru is the only president who built, so, who tarmacked so many roads in Kenya. So many roads and he put more, uh, so many houses, you know, he put electricity. You know that Kenya was suffering from electri- uh, uh, electricity, especially the rural area, but Uhuru did so, so much great work. After that, last year, 2022, Ruto took over the country. And um, when Ruto took over the country, it's about less than two years down the line. But the Kenyan economy is worsening at a very high rate. And people are wondering, is Ruto taking us back to the Moi time? You know, yeah, the corruption rate is very high. Those people in the government are very corrupt. And in the next five years, we're going to say that Kenyan economy be the same as the Zimbabwe economy. You know, the Zimbabwe is among the most poorest country in world, not in Africa, but in the world. This is what Ruto is trying to pay the bill. You know that the Kenyan, uh, the Kenya as a country, it's run by, the budget is 60%. That if you take 100 bob, the country is run by 60 bob. But Ruto, he's taking, uh, he's borrowing money up to 70 bob. So you are borrowing 70 bob and the country needs 60 bob. So you can imagine the rate at which the country is going down, the economy. You, you remember that back in the Uhuru time, the dollar was 100 Kenyan shillings, but now one dollar, it's 150 
king and shilling still shows in the next four years i don't know one dollar will be 200 plus and this is worrying most kenyans because it's making the gdp to go down each and every day because we have two kind of debt we have the internal debt and the external debt that is the way the, the kenyan government borrow money it borrows from the banks from those you know big people in the government and we have the external that's borrowing from other countries like us china such kind of countries let's just do a simple calculation if kenya borrows one billion or let's say 100 billion Kenyan shillings and we borrowed when the dollar was 100 bob and now the dollar is 150 so that means that you are going to pay 150 billion Kenyan shillings so that's an extra of 50 billion Kenyan shillings this is one of the things that is making the Kenyan economy to go down each and every day we just hope and pray that he's going to change our government that's all we have for Kenyan economy today if you enjoyed watching my video, can really subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, share, comment, give a like and to this video so that you can have more, more of my videos. Give a comment down below. What do you think uh, Root is trying to do to the Kenyan GDP? Because if it's going this down, I don't know where we'll be in the next five years. And he's still trying to, to change the, the Katiba of instead of five years to be seven years. So this is like Moi style. Actually, people are saying Moi was much better than Ruto. Because in less than two years, how can you make the dollar to move from 100 to 150? That is really, that's, 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 I don't know. I don't know how I can put it, but it's very, very bad. So, can you share your thoughts in the comment section below? Let's talk about the Kenyan economy so that we can help our country to keep on growing much, much better. Bye bye. See you in my next video.